So you want to be president. As history has shown, being president isn't all that hard. Approval numbers lower than Michael Moore's scrotum in a 160-degree sauna aren't a problem once you're already in the Oval Office. Imagine if George W. Bush's performance were translated to any other job and how long you'd last. Despite repeated warnings from your Wendy's co-workers that boiling hot grease will unleash sectarian violence on your flesh, you nonetheless plunge your entire arm into the deep fat fryer. Or, as a trial attorney, during the most important case of your life, following jury selection, you fly an F-16 into the courtroom and declare victory. That said, getting elected president is much harder. Consider all the great historical figures who have never achieved our highest office. Bob Dole, Anne Frank, and Kubert. There's no real pattern to what might cause you to not become president. The eminently qualified Bob Dole simply ran into a superior campaigner and politician. Anne Frank, on the other hand, was killed by Nazis. And Kubert never could overcome his compulsion to speak only in profanity. I've written So You Want to Be President to help you complete a presidential campaign dry run, not to be confused with a dry hump, which is simulated intercourse over the clothes. Trust me, I've thought of everything I can think of. If Al Gore had read So You Want to Be President, instead of an Academy Award and Nobel Prize, he would have the raging acid reflux all presidents deserve. Can I guarantee victory? No, but I can guarantee fun. Beg, borrow, steal, or even purchase your copy of So You Want to Be President today.